What up, YouTube? I go through how to install Safe Trap 3.11 on the Motorola Razor XT910. So uh, you gotta download the Safe Trap uh, 3.11. The link is in the description. You need to plug your uh, connect your phone to your laptop via the USB cable, and then you just need to copy uh, the Safe Trap Safe Trap 3.11 from your computer into your uh, XT910 so just pick any folder which is easily you can easily find a file for me I just threw it into the uh, media file so just <coughs> copy it and paste it into your phone and then we're done for part one so now you go into your uh, file manager or if you have any uh, file explorer for example for example I do have the ES file explorer so which is available on the Play Store so I just navigate to my media folder or whatever folder which you put safe strap into click on the icon and then when you ask you whether you want to install just click on the install button it should take a few seconds and okay, we're done so now you need to go back into your menu and look for the install safe strap application so once you find it just tap on that then uh, just press allow for a super user request uh, your phone will definitely need to be rooted so if you have not rooted your phone you basically can't do anything so click on install recovery and take a few seconds again once it's finished installing we're all done basically safe strap has been installed uh, Next step, just going to show you how to actually partition uh, your external SD card. You will need an, uh, if I didn't mention previously or you did not know, you actually need to have an external SD card. Uh, so when you install your new ROM, you actually won't interfere with your original stock ROM. <coughs> Safe Trap does have the uh, ability to switch between your original stock ROM. Uh, for this page, just click on Recovery and creating a new space on your external SD card uh, for your new ROM, which you need to download from uh, basically any website. So, on the first page, you go under Boot Options. You can see the install button on the left. So if you click on ROM slot 1, select the size. For me, I just uh, select 2 gigabytes. I just select 2 gigabytes and then you just press on uh, create ROM slot. So that's how you create a ROM slot. Um, for me, my phone uh, is just a extra phone, so I don't really have a, an external SD card. So basically you need to download a ROM uh, load it into your external SD card and then uh, press the install button save strap look for the ROM and install so please subscribe and thanks for watching